So today is going to be a super, super fun day. Exciting. Kasi we're going to talk about a little bit about Hollywood. What's in Abing Los Angeles? My first thought is, oh, celebrities, Hollywood. Today, we're going to go to a studio. We get to see what's inside CBS. The lot, anyway. Okay, may mga secrets. Na iri-reveal ang ating next guest. Sino aking next guest? Well, he is a uh, supervising producer for one of the shows on CBS. You will meet him very soon. Ang ganda ng story niya, napaka interesting, and I wanted him to be on my vlog because ang ganda ganda ng story niya, how he started and how he made it. He is a two-time Emmy Award winner for one of his shows. Again, please do join us. Remember, in life, we just have to keep staying positive. I'm right now here, of course, with Mark, Mark Anthony. Hey guys, and how are you? Mark Anthony is one of our very successful Filipino-American producers here. And we're right now here actually in the CBS studio. Yeah. So tell us what exactly what shows do you tape here? Yeah, so we tape a bunch of shows here at uh -huh. CBS. We tape The Talk, where I work garnishes over 2 million viewers a day. Oh, wow. So that's a lot. Um, have you heard of Entertainment Tonight? Of course. Copyright. Of course, we love entertainment tonight. Yes. And cheese I know, right? Yeah, we love cheese meats. I love cheese meats, except for when they're making me cheese meats. Yes. So, Mark is a producer of The Talk. And The Talk is an award-winning show and it's been on for how many years It's now? been on freaking for like 12 years. Gosh. And I've been here since season one here, so it's been 12 years. And if I had a baby, she would have been 12 years old. <laughs> and her name will be Talk. The Talk of Taka. Taka. So, and dami dami siyempre mga aspiring. Every time you say that, we all want to make it. Oh, we all want to have a piece of this. Yeah. Part of this action. Look at it. How did you get here? Oh my god, well Pops, I was a waiter. I oh, started as a waiter. Yeah. And this is like something that you guys should know like to never give up. I sent my resumes to major networks without any experience. Denied, denied, denied. But that never stopped me because I know in my heart of hearts that that was my passion is okay. to be in the entertainment industry. There you go. Right. Never stop. Never stop. Keep Won't trying, stop. trying, trying. My mama used to say, try and try until you die. She passed away. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Sorry, she, Lola. She, she passed away. But she always She's tried. Died. How many years did you have to try for you to be able to put your foot in the door? Well, probably, it took me probably like five years to make it in the industry. Five then we'll make years, a ride over absolutely here. Absolutely no experience, and yet. He's working for the top. Yeah. Then after that, so I sent out my resume. I got a job as a production assistant. Uh -huh. And after being a production assistant, I worked my way up as a casting producer and a producer for the Tyra Bates show. The Tyra yes. Bates. Do you guys know Tyra Bates? Of course. We yes. Love her. I love her. Did Tyra actually choose you? A list of how many aspirants who want to get a job and then the PD. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Is it your photo? Is it your very fun personality? <laughs> we want to know. Pops, well, this is the crazy thing. So I was a casting producer at MTV. So I was casting game shows and dating shows and all that good stuff. And then I get the phone call of my life. Ring, ring. Uh, they're like, hi, um, can I talk to Mark Anthony Nicholas? And I'm like, yeah, this is he. Uh, they're like, this is the Tyra Banks show. And we heard of your casting abilities. We want to interview you. And then I said, well, um, just to let you know, my genre is dating shows and reality shows. And they're like, well, we just heard that you're an amazing producer. We want to interview you this week. Then I um, interviewed and I was hired on the spot with no talk show experience whatsoever and I was just crying with joy after the interview because it was my I my dream it. it was my dream <laughs> but that's a wonderful story so deep pala as long as you work hard and of course you're proving something yeah they right. actually call you you don't yeah. have to knock on their door and you know what they say it's always like word of mouth uh, mm -hmm. that you know your name and your reputation get and it's really true 
Hi! 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 Hi
My friend is actually the um, pool manager there. Oh, wow. Pag-umaga niya, ganyan na po, bumpy. Yeah, bumpy ride. Windy. So, uulitin ko po, si Mark po, no experience whatsoever when it comes to show business. Yeah. He just loves what he does right now, so he tried it out without an experience. A couple of letters. There he is right now. He's a supervising producer in the top. I know. For 12 years. 12 years, yeah. It's so crazy because my mom and dad wanted me to become a pharmacist. It Hi. is. Mark has a surprise for all of you. Is he such a nice person? Yeah. He's gonna bless us with a prize. Yeah, so you guys better, it's, it's a watch and win prize. So you better watch this vlog. Make sure you absorb everything me and Pop says because at the end, she's gonna ask you guys a question. And it is your duty, it is your responsibility to have the correct answer. All right? That's right. It's a huge prize that retails for over five hundred dollars ah! <laughs> and the price is and this is for real okay remember watch the vlog till the very end and whatever question that uh, we ask right after the vlog please the first person who answers that question wins a three-day two-night Las Vegas getaway ah! yes! okay, yeah watch Listen and participate. Three days, two nights, lots of Right. Days. And you could bring your significant other, you could bring your family, but it's gonna be fun. And Las Vegas, Sin City, oh man. You guys are gonna have so much fun. So good luck to all you viewers out there. Don't forget, follow Mark Anthony also right. on his Instagram. Right? Exactly. So you have to follow me too in order to win this Las Vegas trip. And if you guys can't make it, if you guys are on the East Coast, but you guys want to win a prize, so I will actually send you <gasps> some prizes. <laughs> it's a surprise, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. <laughs> So where are we now, Mark? Uh, we're on, it's called Sunset Plaza, the okay. Sunset Strip. Uh, we'll see the Laugh Factory. So Sunset Strip is about a two mile strip uh, containing restaurants and stores. Um, you have your salons like Dry Bar and all that good stuff. So people do like a two mile walk no up and down the strip. So that's the, um, uh, we've, we're passing um, Chateau Marmont. Okay, Chateau Marmont is now the uh, restaurant. It's a, it's a restaurant. A and celebrities go there? Yeah. Yes, a lot of celebrities and a lot of celebrities go there because they want to be wine and dine with a Chateau Marmont. The good thing is is that patrons don't even take out their cameras and take pictures of the celebrities. So the celebrities do feel like in a safe environment They're as well. Private, yeah. Oh, oh, this is Carney's, Carney's hot dogs and hamburgers. So the, this is part of a train. So uh -huh. there was a train with 12 um, caboose stations. There's 12 of those spread across the United States. They have the best burgers, they have the, the best hot dogs as well. Um, that's the Mel's drive through so basically that's the hot spots where celebrities go after they go clubbing. Mel's drive through oh, And that's uh, one of uh, Ryan Seacrest's favorite um, diners as well. Actually, when Paris Hilton used to party with Britney Spears, they would hang out there and all the paparazzis would be like taking pictures of them as well. Oh, you wanted them? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'm in my info. Yeah. So this um is the newest digital LED banner. To the right here on Horn Avenue is actually where I live. Why is it horn? Because I'm horny. Okay. <laughs> I love to laugh. I yeah, I, I love to laugh too. And I love making people laugh too. And I think if I wasn't a producer, I would be a comedian. You are a comedian. I mean, yes. I swear. That tall tower is called Sierra Towers. Basically, that's where Sharon Osborne used to live. Oh. She had a penthouse, but she wanted her more space. So she bought the penthouse next to hers. So she has the whole entire floor of the Sierra Towers. Mm -hmm. Telling you, ano pa pong gusto niyo malaman? Hollywood. So we have you met like the likes of like Kim, the Kardashians, 
Kardashian. Uh, Chloe Kardashian. Oh, I actually really? produce Chloe Kardashian, and she's one of my favorite Kardashians, and she's oh. amazing. So Chloe Kardashian is one of the nicest people on earth. And now we're heading into the Beverly Hills. These are the residentials of the Beverly Hills. I think we're gonna see any artista walking. Maybe you. You go out. You oh, never know, you, right? You I mean, never know. How are you? How are you? I'm good. You're good. I'm just enjoying the ride. Of course, our cameraman. Yes. Is there. And the cover. Are you learning anything? Absolutely. There are. is a test, remember, guys. There is a test. And there is a price. And the test is only for the best. So if you're the best in the East or the West, I could test. <laughs> the best part about, of course, the vlog, this vlog is I learned a lot of things because I see you as a very happy person. And you know what? I always talk about positivity. Positivity yeah. is what I call it. I love it. that. Because in life, I think we just have to see things in a very positive manner. We do. You fit that. You oh, fit that. Uh, thank that you. Whole mold. So, right. And I think that's the reason why you are where you are. Nothing um, seems to phase you. Nothing. So. At work, they say I'm the cure to depression. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they're like, Mark, we don't need to take pills or anti. Depressant, yeah, you, you just talk to you and you oh, become. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, your paw, and the lesson that I learned today is in life, when you want something, you just gotta keep trying. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fail. Remember, no, right. failure is just a part of it. Every time you fail, you learn. Exactly. But then again, exactly. your focus should not be on the failing. Your focus should be on getting to work. Exactly. And, and, oh. and for me, like, I didn't look at the big picture. I took it step by step, day by day. But just never give up because, like, when I was sending my resumes to, like, ABC, MTV, NBC, I was, like, not even called to anything. Like, I never had a call back. But it just took a chance and a leap of faith for just one person to say, yes, let me hire you as a production assistant. Then uh, the rest is history. And now I'm the supervising producer and two-time Emmy winner. <laughs> Don't forget that. Okay, we got that. If I'm a top celebrity in Hollywood, I want to walk my dog. Yeah, right me too. Now. Um right now, what's yeah. that? Probably in the morning time. <laughs> <laughs> so we totally miss the celebrities. Yeah.